Hi, I'm reading the Goldsmiths Prize shortlist or I'm trying to get it all read before the 10th of November so I'm beginning to run out of time. This one, Seven Steeples by Sarah Baum and it is such a gentle novel. It's one of those books where there isn't really a plot, where nothing ever seems to happen but that's sort of the point. You've got Belle and Sai and they move to this um, remote cottage that's um, close to a nearby mountain, effectively cutting themselves off from everything. And they are told that if you climb this mountain, you will see seven standing stones, seven skulls, and seven steeples. And the book records seven years. Seven years of them being in this cottage. And it describes the landscape and it describes details about the landscape and it is so beautifully and poetically written that several times you, you stop because, well I did, you stop because she's describing something that you know but she's describing it in such a way that you look at it differently, you see it differently. I mean there's an example here. Um, she's describing the way that snow thaws you know, you've got the, the sort of farming, you've got the fields and stuff and, and the snow is gradually thawing. And she says it's as if fat chalk lines had been drawn around the perimeter. The way the snow sort of thaws out from the inside out and you're left with these. And I thought that was a beautiful description. It's something that I come across, well, when we used to have regular snowfalls. You come across, and but... She made me look at it in a different way, which is beautiful. And there's, there's lots of other examples on this in this one. Each chapter is a year. So chapter one is the first year of them being in this cottage. And chapter one deals with sort of January, February. And then chapter two, the second year, deals with the next months until you get to chapter seven. And we're looking at November and December. So each year she's describing nature in different months and it is so gentle and it is I just thought it was beautiful it's documenting a sort of steady deterioration of Belle and Sai of their lives um the way that they sort of everything around them is sort of deteriorating they explain it that you know if they'd have known they were going to be there that long They'd have done things, but they didn't expect to be there that long. And so everything is just sort of slightly falling apart around them. And you don't get a picture of Belle and Sai. There's no dialogue, no dialogue at all. The, the bulk of it is the description of the land, the the house, everything, just, oh, so, so poetic. I I really, really enjoyed it. It's one of those books that just, you just float along um, in, you just float along and, and the elements, the descriptions of the elements, they're the stars, the landscape, the elements. It's the star of this book and I loved it. Um, whether it'll win the seven, the Goldsmiths Prize, I don't know. I've read four now. I've got two more to go. Um, we'll see. I think my favourite is still the Maddie Mortimer, but this at the moment is a very close second. So, Steeples, Seven Steeples by Sarah Bourne. Happy reading. Take care.